everyone, I'm Ashok. Welcome to back to another video on mathematics for machine learning series. In this video, we look into the length of a vector. As we learned from the previous video, what is a vector, how it is represented in linear scale. Uh, so I'm going to take the same uh, linear space, two dimensional, and let me draw a quick vector. So I'm going to take a 3, 4 vector, which is simply so I'm going to call this vector as let's say um, some g vector okay the g vector is equal to 3 and 4 where 3 is the number of units on your x axis and 4 is the number of units on your y axis okay to find the length of this vector as you can see, it's pretty straightforward because it's it's a right angle triangle. And uh, if I take this this as a, a and this as a B and this as a C, from Pythagorean theorem, you know that C square is equal to A square plus B square. That's what we can apply straight away. And uh, in this case, my length of my vector G is equal to uh, basically, uh, you know, c is equal to square root of a square plus b square. I'm going to just directly write it down. And a is nothing but 3 here, number of units in x axis, so 3 square plus number of units in y axis, 4 square. We know this method, this, these values, it lands up to 225, and that is 5. So, length of my g vector, which is this, this length, is actually 5. Okay, that's how you calculate length in two-dimensional space. But what if you have a three-dimensional space? Well, in three-dimensional space, you have one more. For example, uh, if it happens that you have an, another vector, which is like a H vector, which has a three-dimensional values. Okay, so this is corresponding to x-axis, this is y, and this is z. So, how do you find the length of this? Well, the same equation, you just have to do 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square. So, simply uh, an extension of the same theorem and that gives you the length of the vector in your three dimensional axis. Also, note the length of the vector of this vector is actually a scalar. So, the 5 here is a scalar because you're talking about a length so it doesn't have any direction the length of a vector is scalar and can be easily found by using Pythagorean theorem and uh, it can be applicable for any dimensions this is two dimension this is three dimension you can extend this as any number of dimensions so you can say dimension as r then you can say number of units in each of the dimensions till the n okay so that's all the, the length of the vector. In the next video, we'll look into the scalar and vector multiplications and other operations possible. Thank you.